Hi and welcome to my channel. So today is the day. So here it is. So uh, we are going to uh, remake the GTA uh, tutorial from the Unreal Engine 4, Unreal Engine 5. So we want to use everything the Unreal Engine 5 have. So like Chaos, Nanine, Lumens, everything like that. So that's why we can use Unreal Engine 4 for that. So we want to create a reality, really realistic game, like GTA, uh, Matrix, the new Matrix game, thing like that. So this is gonna be a huge uh, difference from the last uh, basic uh, GTA we created before. So before they um, make this tutorial, you have to download a few things. So we need to, uh, you don't have to download the full project, the city sample, because I know there's a 100 gigabytes. So it's a lot of the stuff, a lot of the huge project. So <laughs> not everybody have the space. I have it, finally, <laughs> but but uh, um, there's a lot of space. So if you don't need it, we we, we don't need everything. So the most that we're gonna need, we're gonna be the buildings and vehicles. I'm not gonna use crowd because. Uh, to uh, this day, the meta humans they don't working really 100% right yet. I don't know because I think it's, it's still they don't uh, it's still in alpha. Because when you package your project, they're gonna give you a lot of error if you have meta human in your project. So that's why I don't I don't want going to use it yet. But later, if they fix all this stuff, so probably we can update this project uh, change the character from another character from the meta human but for now they're gonna only use the cars and buildings and we want to use another character from the marketplace or I create by myself or thing like that so that is the only we need gonna need and also we want to need a, um, a main character for now we want to use this guy this is the free so we're gonna use this one because like I said I like to use modular project uh, characters because later we want to have a uh, lot of shopping places so we can change the uh, clothes and things like that so that's why I like the modular character also you can check the page from um, this creator because this guy is really amazing if you have um, some uh, question for this guy if you, uh, they're gonna respond you in few hours so that's really amazing and they have a lot a lot of stuff I already buy a lot of this stuff <laughs> because this guy is really, really amazing. And also, almost the all the character is modular too. You have their own animation and thing like that. So that is really great. So you need to check this out. So uh, before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you to everybody that support me. And if you want to support me, you can go to my Patreon page. Depending on your subscription, you're gonna have exclusive videos. You're gonna, you can watch the video before I publish. And you can have the project file from this tutorial and the other tutorial from my channel. And also you're gonna have early access to my personal game projects. And I can help you to fix uh, error you have in your game and things like that. And also I can claim for you uh, blueprints, animation, character, everything you want. Or if you prefer, I can make a game for you from the scratch if you want to. So if you want to talk with me directly, you can go to my Discord channel. So if you need help or you need you don't know how to follow uh, good the tutorial, have a few questions, you can write me from the Discord. For me, it's more easy to respond from there than the YouTube channel. So that is one of the things. And also, if you want to show me your project and games, so I can publish that in my YouTube channel for free, you only have to fill this form. You have to put your name, your email, and what you want I do when you project and games so that I can uh, know what you want. And also, if you want to write me from here, you can do it too. So that's everything. So if you want all these three, they're gonna be in the description of the video. So thank you, and let's start a tutorial. So let's go to Unreal. And at first, I have the third person template. That is the best for now, because we have already IQ for the player. That's really what we more we gonna need <laughs> so that's why so I also also like I said before I only download yet the main character uh, 
uh, aventure guy from the marketplace because I don't know from different projects the city uh, sample because I prefer to have this um, project the mod empty I can so we can save a lot of space from this project because when you ship in your game you don't want to have uh, gigas and gigas without don't use it so it's better to have another project for your site and use migrate only what you need so that is one of the things so let's set up the project so let's go to edit we need to go to edit preference you don't need to do it if you don't want but for in my case i don't like how to save it because i don't like the engine save for me so that's why so go to always joystick because like everybody know i use my xbox controller so i don't want to for whatever reason i move the joystick i don't want to move my editor so that's why i disconnect this and also go to edit project settings and here we want to change the blur because i don't like blur stuff Oops, like that and also we need to go to user interface like i said i like to use my gamepad so we have a lot of we we're gonna have a lot the widgets and stuff so i can move from my option from my gamepad if you using if you you are using a widget with your gamepad you want to see in the buttons you want to see a few lines so that's why i don't like it that so that's why in the render focus rule i change this to never so that way i can you don't see that lines so and they're gonna be a lot more smooth you ever see for a gamepad that is the only reason you don't have to, you don't need to if you don't want it so it's okay so that's one thing so let's close this for now and also i like to change the size of the screen so let's go to advanced settings go to here we change this to 1920 and 1080 so go all in center so we can close this and also change this to new editor window so that way i have full screen so i can test it better so i can see better the box and things like that for whatever reason i miss for whatever so that's why i like to do that so that's one thing so i think that's set for now yes so let's clean this a little bit because we don't need all this stuff so let's right click we can use a new folder in my case i'm gonna use this character so go here and go gta if you put this in front they're gonna move all that um folder to the first one so that's why i like to do that so we have this here so let's create a few blueprints so go here this blueprint we're gonna need both but this one they are the only one they wanna be there so let's move all this blueprint to gta so move it we have gonna be a hard lot of radiation i know so to see that because we don't see it so go in here other filter it go to show redirector so we can see it here so that's here so fix it so that i can delete it so let's delete it so that's one thing and also in gta we want to create another one here they're gonna call it character and plural so we have a lot all the characters they're gonna be in here so that's one here so let's move this character to this here so we don't we don't want to be in the same folder so that's what so the thing goes there so we want to create a new map because i don't want to use this stuff so go here uh, right click again new folder gonna be maps so let's create a map for scratch so file new level it's gonna be basic we can use whatever here but for now i want to use basic so gonna be create and i wanna gonna save it you want to leave the name or we can call this test map for example so go to gta maps and save it uh, like i said i like to create this uh, map 
just for I can delete the other map, all the stuff, and also I want to check uh, everything I move something, or I want to text something to test it out. So it's better to test it in uh, any team uh, level because it's more easy to see what the problem or not in your blueprint or thing like that than they put everything in your main maps because if you put it your own um, main map they're gonna load a lot of the asset blueprint character you, you don't want to uh, load everything just for testing something small so that's better to have a map uh, without nothing so you can test it out whatever you want so if, when you want to ship in your game you just delete this map it does it so that's one one of the reasons and also to delete everything I can so that's one so go to content so now we don't need nothing from here so we can delete this and also level prototype I don't want to do nothing from there so for now we want to use this so I'm gonna leave it like that for now so go and we want to change a few here here so go to GTA blueprints so let's change the name of this so let's put DP game mode so that's the only way I know this my own game mode so go to character change this name too so gonna be DP oops DP DP character wow character blueprint okay so chat the blueprint so we have this in here and also i think that's set so let's go inside I'll move this here so we need to change this a little bit so let's clean all this stuff so in here i want to collapse this stuff so let's call this gamepad input for example so the gamepad input uh, also this stuff so let's collapse this call this mouse input so we can move this stuff to here we can delete this and also uh, movement input so let's collapse this movement input for example <coughs> so let's put this in here and close this and we need we want to change this to movement so and also I don't want to use jumping so I want to delete it why I don't want to use jumping because I prefer prefer to when the project and uh, when the character uh, hit a fence or something this for me is more I, I, I like to when they hit the fence you press a button it's just jumping with the animation and interaction for me uh, it's look more realistic uh, so it's not all, only the jumping animation it does it. I want to look more professional so when you uh, hit some fence or wall something like that they're gonna look better if you interact with the wall or fence so that is the only reason so if you don't want it it's okay but for me I like to do that stuff because they look better and more professional too <laughs> that's why so that said so for now this is gonna be so compound safe go to test map uh, go to edit we need to set this up so go project settings go to map as a move we need to change the game mode to DP game mode select the game mode to DP the blueprint uh, also we want to need the player controller so go and test map and the character here so right click blueprint class player controller I'm gonna call this DP player controller Vaya. controller so that's why we create our own player controller because we want to have more depends on the enemy or 
crowd and things like that. So go to character blueprint, go to DP character blueprint self, and we need to go to a AI controller class and change this to DP player controller. So compile and save. Yeah, so go player settings, player controller to DP player controller. Later we want to create this for saving the game, the thing like that. And editor start a map, they're gonna be the test map and this one to test map. So that's it. So let's close this and this. So now if we go play, we have this for now. So we are ready for the next video. So in the next video, we wanna set up our player and the animation from that player. So we the, we're gonna have the player movement so we can use the i key IK for the uh, Unreal Engine 5, Unreal Engine 5. So that's gonna be cool to have that. Also, we have to we want to move um, retarget all the animation from Unreal Engine 4. We can find the good stuff and things like that. So that's it. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. So bye bye.